Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make the easiest and most delicious caldo de res. So in case you guys want to how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so first we're going to begin by grabbing a large pot. We're going to add five and a half quarts of water. And so that we're going to set it on high heat. Add a whole onion, a whole garlic head, and salt. And now we're just going to bring it to a boil. Once the water comes to a boil, we're going to add two pounds of beef shank, two pounds of beef ribs, and three pounds of cross and three pounds and three pounds of cross rib and three pounds of cross rib. Oh my goodness! And, and three pounds of cross rib roast. And I just cut into smaller pieces. Okay, so once we added all of our meat, we're going to bring it to a boil again. Okay, so once our broth comes to a boil, we're going to remove all of the foam form on top of our broth. Okay, so once we have removed all of the impurities from our meat, we're going to reduce the heat to medium. We're going to cover it and allow it to cook for one hour. Alrighty guys, so after one hour, we're going to open our caldo. And we're going to get the garlic out. We'll just look for it. It's right here. And I'm just going to smash it down so I can return it back to the pot. the garlic and now at this point we're going to add our corn I'm using four and I just cut them into smaller pieces and let me tell you that already smells delicious and to that we're also going to add three tomatoes and I just cut them in half along with one tablespoon of beef bouillon and one tablespoon of tomato bouillon. Mix it. Okay, we're going to cover it again and allow it to cook for another 40 minutes. Okay, so after 40 minutes, we're going to add two chayotes. And I remove the seeds and of course just make sure that you clean them. along with five carrots and five potatoes cut in half and I use the yellow potatoes but you can use your favorite of course just make sure that you clean them real good we're going to cover it and allow it to continue cooking for 20 more minutes okay so after 20 minutes we're going to add the rest of our vegetables so I'm going to add two calabacitas these are Mexican squash I'm going to add a handful of cilantro and green beans. I'm going to mix it. We're going to give it another 10 minutes. And lastly, we're going to add our cabbage or you can add your cabbage here. I like my cabbage to be a little on the crunchy side, not fully soggy. So I like to add it five minutes before our caldo is done. But make sure you cover it and allow that to cook. Okay, so after 10 minutes, we're going to check our potatoes in the meat and make sure that everything is nice and soft. So we have the potato here, really soft. The carrots, perfect, and the meat. can see super nice and tender and at this point try it for salt and see if you want to add any more mm, for me it's perfect so now we're just going to reduce the heat to the lowest setting and at this point I'm going to add my cabbage and I use a whole head of cabbage we love cabbage in our caldito Just going to add it on top. Back door closed. And with the steam, it's going to soften the cabbage. And at this point, get your salsita ready, your arroz, so we can get ready to serve. 
I'm going to give it another five minutes. Alrighty guys, and after five minutes, our delicious caldo de res is ready to be served. Okay, so now just make sure you grab all of the vegetables. Ooh, the corn. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, serving. So I just like to squeeze a little lime juice on my caldo. And I like to serve it with the size of um, Spanish rice. And of course, let's not forget our spicy salsa de molcajete. Just a little cilantro and onion. And the tortillas. And just like that, now we are ready to enjoy our delicious caldo de res. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I am so ready. I am so happy that caldo season is here. Um, this is one of my favorite caldos. And it's honestly the easiest one to make. Um, yeah, it's a little time consuming, you know, but I think it's definitely worth it. You know, it takes two hours to have a delicious caldo. And I like to grab my tortilla and then kind of make a taco with the meat, like that. My mouth is so watery already. I like to squeeze a little lemon, lemon. I was gonna say lemon, lime, and then grab that salsa. And this salsa is very simple. It's just tomatoes, uh, red jalapenos, serranos, and a garlic. That's it. That's all you need, just like that. And then let that drippings drop on the caldo. And I am sorry, so hope you get a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So perfect. And then you grab your rice. Take another bite. Mm. The potato is my favorite. So good. Just like that. Mm. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make the most delicious caldo de res. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you regret this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!